Hey Taxters, welcome back to this lovely sunny afternoon. Perfect boots however, blue skies, not too hot, not too cold, no wind. It should have been a full field of sellers and punters for me to fill the car multiple times, to make loads of money for my business. And yeah, keep flipping out cool stuff. But obviously, that's not happening. No boot sales, no nothing. Got me a bit down this morning, so I thought I'd clip together a sort of best of from last year's boot sales from my previous videos. I've obviously had a lot of new subscribers since I've been to a boot sale properly. Bits and bobs here and there, my best and my favourite pickups. So I've put them together in a nice little video and I'll get my little boot sale fix from last year. And obviously, hopefully you enjoy it. Stay safe, stay inside, stay home as much as you can and enjoy this little video. See ya. Oh, it's this one as well. Go on, give us 50p. Yeah. I've got the coffee table as well, actually, from oh, you. Have you. Yeah. There you go. I'll pick that up while I'm here. I don't know if they work, obviously. That's all right, I'll give they probably do work. Alright. So. Anyway. That's right. I'll take the table now as well. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take the glass, but. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I had them all delivered online. Yeah, that's the way forward. You know, and 133 cars, mm. plus three extras because I ordered online. Um, but they still missed out. That's not right, you know, and then there was there's a car that was only in the film for perhaps 20 seconds. They've got that. Oh, <laughs> Some pedestrian Ford Fiesta game. Yeah, yeah. How much on the box? I like want all of them. Yeah, just if it clears it for you. What have we got there? Do you want any? 10, 11. 15? Go on, you know you're getting a hell of a deal there, don't you? Yeah. Especially as you've I'll got some American them. ones there as well. Yeah, what's that? Uh, yeah, I'll take the box, can I? Yeah. <laughs> Lovely, thank Cheers, you. Mate. So we just picked up a load of uh, manuals. Well, I'll quickly scan them in. I'll oh, still 25 quid, that one. 25. Let's do this one. Oh, that's it. apparently a hundred quid, but no, it won't be that. Probably 30. I think I sold that one before for 30. Not bad. It does work. Yeah. How much is that one? quid. Okay. It's got a It's like brand new. Can yeah. you hear it? Yeah, can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my wife. I bought my wife this about 30 years ago. Okay. They've become very practical <laughs> and you can see all the books, it's everything's quite, there. Yeah, nice and clean. Well, it is. It's, <coughs> it's got brand new. Yeah. I know, that, I know they sell for quite a bit on eBay, but then eBay I'd never think is really a fair judge of things. Yeah. But, oh, there we go. <laughs> This is what's already been recorded, innit? Ah. <laughs> and it tells you kind of the notes that are being played. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Is it 70s or 80s? 70s. 70s. Yeah. Oh, how much? And a bus. You can have both, all of that for, I don't know. Two quid? Yeah, two quid. Yeah, two quid. Oh, he said a quid. Yeah, two quid. Oh, yeah, two no, quid. No, Excellent. No. <laughs> We do 15 on this one? No, I do 18 and it's yours. 18? I wouldn't yeah. sell it any cheaper than that because I know that they go for a lot more than that. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 18's fine. Yeah, All that's right. fair. Yep. Okay, you Take can't that one. get everything. Yeah, no, yeah, it's really good. Well, like I said, I bet ain't many people got the books as well. Five roof, what it be? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you one, please. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you.
How much on the boots? Boots? Uh, make four, four, four pound. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take them, please. Lovely. Have a late, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. How much on the Furby? Um, I was asking 10 each. Okay. But I would do the two for 15. Okay, uh, connect. Yeah, I'll take both of them. It's 15. Thank you. I'll do it for yeah. a pound if you want to take it with him. Yeah, go on then. <laughs> so he's not lonely. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. That's just come undone a bit because you need your battery. So yeah, it's fine, yeah. So that's all right. It just needs screwing back in carefully. Yeah, it's okay. So we took all the batteries out to make them leaking. Yeah, it'll get a bit messy if you leave the batteries in. Yeah, <laughs> they explode. Do they? Yeah. So How much on the chairs? Two pound each, mate. Yeah, there's another one there, isn't there? Yeah. 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 yeah, I'll take both of them, please. That's four, thank, thank you. Much, you right with that? Yeah, it's fine, like that. Yeah, like that. Lovely, cheers. Oh no. You come in. Come on in. Move that way a bit, Maisie. That's it. It's a tape player. Put your tapes in, you listen to your music. How much is the tape player? Three, yeah. We'll have that one, Lou. Put it in the bag. Three pounds. I'm not pointing at the grass. I'm in here. <laughs> What's this one down here, mate? Oh. Oh, I've Okay. How much is it? That one? Yeah? Have that one. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. How's the filming? I hope they drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Film set. What's over here? The toys and stuff. Oh, the soft toys at the back. PS2 guitar hero for a couple of quid in the box. Uh, could do, yeah. Have a check, it's all there, I just want to get rid of it. That's all right, I'll trust you. Yeah, I'll take that. I've been um, watching your YouTube video. Have you? Uh, yeah, I recognise yeah. the bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, either the bag or the dog, mainly. <laughs> Nothing? No. What have you got, Layla? Uh, <laughs> yes, that's your tongue. Clothes. Yeah. We've been back to the car twice. We've been back to the car and off loaded. How much on the trainers? 
Found you, I have them. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, cheers. Oop. Oh, that other one. Oh, do you want to go this way? This way. You can go this way. Are you right? A pound. How much is the Monopoly? Ten. Okay. It's different. Most of it looks like it's there. Yeah. All the houses. Yeah, can I take that, please? Yep, yeah. Oh, yeah, I came on the poly. Uh, <laughs> hang on a second. <laughs> Oh, you going back no. to the car? <laughs> yeah, um, I should be all right. Do you want me to should, keep it? Yeah, or? it's all right. I'll drop this stuff off. I'll oh, come I'll back in. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Probably got my hands full. Yeah. So, thanks for that. I'm back from the Monopoly. Yeah, I've unloaded. <laughs> they look nice and polished up, wouldn't they? Yeah, just get a bit of a scrub it's and just stuff. Just getting ruined in my garage, so. Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. Lovely. Thank you. Nice. So, Something I've wanted to pick up for a long time vintage wrestling videos just VHS's from the good old WWF days when I used to watch them obviously I'm a 90s kid so this is more me Steve Austin the rock Triple H uh, got a whole bag for five pound for my second boot sale which again was a really good price 23 here I'll probably be aiming for 50 pound or best offer see how they go 99% of VHS's aren't worth anything but wrestling ones horror ones they seem to be quite collectible they might not fly off the shelf but yeah reminds me of my childhood so really cool pickup there this was probably my favorite pickup of the weekend this collector's edition monopoly i've seen this before but i couldn't quite put my finger on what it was but since researching it it's a franklin mint one which fetches some really really good money three figures this only cost me a tenner but there is issues like there's uh chips to the wood Oh, this is obviously coming off, so I just need to super glue that. And also, when I open the drawer, I don't think there's all the original pieces. I think this is taken from a Disney set, because I think the original set should have like gold pieces. It's original money, it's got the original cards. Uh, this is a sort of little project for someone. I'll probably just give it a wipe over, so as is, as it's only owed me a tenner. Uh, probably thinking in this condition scrubbed up a little bit probably 60 to 80 obviously chance my arm at the higher end hopefully I get it not as good as it could have been but still really happy to find one of these out in the wild vintage sort of 1970s camping chairs again they wanted five pound each I got these two I was happy to pay five each for these but this one I only got for a couple of quid because this is the same design as the ones I had before but is slightly sun faded and on the back there's a slight tear here and here it's not enough to rip there's still plenty of support happy to pay 10 for these like i said this should be i sold the other set like this for 50 quid plus postage so again maybe 45 50 again for these and then this one will probably be sort of hopefully 18 20 on its own plus post so a good standard vintage pickup for me there this is really fun and cool Pinhead from the Hellraiser movies. It's an 18 inch uh, figure. Comes with its original box. I think he's supposed to talk. He might take batteries. Motion sound activated. Oh, there you go. So he should take batteries. So he'll need a little bit of testing. But it looks like he's never actually been out. I saw him on the table and it looked like they were going to ask quite a lot because it sort of looked like a dealer type table. So I had a quick search on eBay and these boxes are going. So between 80 and over 100 obviously if they're new and boxed they're fetching sort of mid hundreds near 200 
but this one has been opened but I don't know if the figure has or not apparently it's got all these accessories and everything but going on the £80 sort of range that I could list him for I was happy to pay what they were asking which was 20 and they weren't budging from that so from £20 for a nice boxed figure again not much of a pain to list or store so 20 to 80 because this one's boxed and hopefully he's unused I might push towards the 100 mark and these are, I think it's this one brand new with tags Nike Tempo uh, what are they called? Team Nike Grip or something oh here you go Flying Knit yeah anyway <laughs> brand new with tags they even got their bag with them which is really cool brand new these are over a hundred pound boots sort of 120 something 125 pound boots so on ebay they're going for 80 plus new with box or with tags so from a 20 i'm going to aim for sort of 95 100 if i can obviously nice and light again so from a 20 that is a good markup on these these are all from one seller at the boot sale my first boot sale i believe the, the person selling these um I see him there every week picking up all the bald games which I get jealous of sometimes if he's got something good so I was surprised to see when he was selling um, he had like all these for sale for £5 each well I think it was his wife or partner that actually sold these to me for £5 each <laughs> so I don't know if he was asking that but um, yeah £5 each the boxed one was 10 apparently so altogether it would have been £70 uh, got a bulk price deal for 60 so so if they owe me sort of four pound fifty or whatever each and i send these straight to amazon and they go really well especially at christmas like this rainbow one i think i've sold many times for sort of 40 sort of minimum 35 pound and high end i've got for one of these before 60 quid that was a couple of years ago though at christmas and it had this box so say these owe me four pound fifty each on average these are getting me 35 pound to 40 45 on amazon minus fees that is a great deal but see in when i'm doing an amazon box these would just be bagged and they'll go straight in the box not very heavy at all get them out of the house forget about them and they'll trickle away in the background throughout the year especially at christmas nice little sort of bonus for me this is a nice little bolo surprise as well bolo if you don't know means be on the lookout i bought this for a fiver anyway just because it looked cool obviously nice like sort of 80s 90s maybe telephone that like novelty phone researching it just now quickly on ebay i'm very very satisfied with what i've seen because someone sold this exact phone on bids for about 79 pound which is mind-blowing obviously it looks like the rolling stones logo so can keyword that i don't know if it's official merchandise or anything but if it's working even more of a bonus but if it sold for 79 pound as an auction i might chance my arm at 90 maybe even chance it at 100 might not get it but you don't know if you don't try but from a fiver it's only small and light so well chuffed with that talking of bolos wasn't sure if it was modern or not but this is obviously ultimate warrior from like the 90s like wrestling wwf or wwe as it's called now I saw it laying on the floor I thought oh that looks quite fun <laughs> so I sort of looked it up like ultimate warrior plush and obviously I showed you on the footage someone got £30 for him so I quickly dashed back got him for 50p so bargain of the day is this one right here since picking him up I've done a quick bit of research in the car and the production line is called wrestling buddies and I've researched that obviously ultimate warrior wrestling buddies and he's going for a lot more than £30 buy it now this is at least a 50 pound soft toy which is amazing again can't believe it was just sitting there not being snapped up before i picked him up so 50p to 50 pound is just mind-blowing for a soft toy as well bang him in a couple of bags and off he goes that might go international put gsp on that should sell quite quickly awesome thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with the future videos and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye. Bye. I'll see you around. Bye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Stay safe. Stay inside. Stay home as much as you can. See ya.